Hi, this is Barry John Raybould of the Virtual Art Academy and I'm here outside my studio in Tuscany and today I'm going to talk about toning a canvas. One of the problems when you are faced with a sheet of white paper or a white canvas is that you can't really judge the colours that you're putting on it. So what artists generally do is put down an area of colour on top of the white canvas so that you're working on something that is already there. Typically it will be a neutral colour and what I'm going to do is show you a couple of ways of doing that in this video. This is the gesso that I'm using. It's a white gesso primer. This one's a Galleria from Windsor & Newton but you can use any gesso. There are slightly different um, qualities to the gesso. Sometimes they are a little smooth and sometimes they're a bit rougher. I think the rougher ones put some chalk in. So it's a good idea to experiment with one that um, different types and find one that suits the way you like to paint the best. But this one seems perfectly fine. The uh, Windsor Newton Galleria Acrylic Medium White Gesso Primer. And I usually buy a, a litre pot. This is the acrylic paint that I'm using to mix with the gesso. It's a black paint and you only need a small tube of it because in terms of quantity you, you mix a lot of the white acrylic with just a relatively small amount of the black paint. So this will give you a good neutral grey to tone the board that you're using to paint on. So the, the first way I'm going to show you is starting with a, uh, this is a piece of um, uh, medium density fibre board and it's quite a good surface to, to paint on. So I get these cut up into panels and now what I'm going to do is to gesso them. So to gesso what I'm going to do is use this white gesso and put a little bit of water, I don't think you need very much. And what I'm going to do is I'm taking a bit of acrylic and I'm going to put a touch of black into the mix. And so you can see now we've got um, quite a, a light grey. You don't want a dark grey, you want it to be on the, on the light side. And now simply just paint over the panel with this grey paint. I'm changing the direction of the brush stroke so that it's not all even. And here we've got just I'm going to do just one coat on this one and then let it dry and then put another coat on top. So that's pretty much all you want, uh, try to get a decent coverage. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do another panel. We're going to do it again the next uh, day after it's dried or even after a couple of hours. Here's a panel that I've already done that I was working on yesterday. It's got one coat on. This time it was white but that doesn't matter. I'm going to go over with the grey for the second coat. Well, I'll, I'll probably do a third coat and that will be a nice panel to paint on. So the advantage of this is that when you paint on top of it, you'll be able to judge the colour. You'll be able to judge a light and a dark colour. If you were to just paint on white canvas like this, every colour you put on top will be dark. Um, so it will be quite hard to judge how dark it is. Whereas if you put a colour on top of this, if you put a light colour, the light colour will stand out against this grey. And you'll be able to uh, judge how light it is compared to the, to the grey. So that's the first method. 
if you're starting with a panel that hasn't been gessoed. For the second method, I'm going to use Liquin Original from Windsor & Newton. Any black paint. And a phthalo blue. So let's take um, a look at how I use these three materials to tone my canvas. So I'm going to put a, a little bit of the phthalo blue. judge 
exactly how cool it is because basically everything is going to be cool when you put it on top of the uh, a warm undercoating. So it's mostly to help you judge colors more accurately. The second thing is you can let some of this color show through in a painting, a sunlit painting for example, and it basically will suggest sunlight because this is the color of, of the sky. So it will suggest sunlight reflecting through, for example, a grassy field. The, the third reason why it's a good color is that this is about the same value as the sky. So as soon as you put a landscape in, you already have the sky value in place. And that allows you to judge the values of the landscape much more easily. You can obviously adjust the, the color of the sky, but at least you've got the, um, a rough sky value in the painting. And that will help you judge values more easily. So those are the reasons why this is a good thing, um, a, a good way of toning the canvas using a cool, neutral, light grey.